Do you think you have what it takes to change the world? Well, you just might get your shot. One entrepreneur is giving away $1,000 every day for an entire year. And all the money goes to projects that will make our world a better place. Ari Nessel is the founder of The Pollination Project, and he's my guest this morning. Good morning to you, Ari. Good morning, Gretchen. Thank you for having me on your show. Of course. So tell me how you thought of this idea. Why are you doing this? Well, we all have a unique contribution uh, we can make to this world, and I happen to have uh, financial resources. And I've just come across uh, so many people who are doing great work in the world, and I wanted to find a way to uh, support them. So you are giving away $1,000 a day, at least for a year. So far, these are some of the people that have received your money. Let's start with Melody Moore. What is she doing to make the world a better place? Yeah, Melody's a clinical psychologist. Uh, she founded the Inner Beauty Project along with six, uh, uh, seven rather of her courageous uh, clients. She works with uh, people who have young women, especially who have eating disorders, and they helped. You know, they're helping to. She's helping them move beyond these eating disorders. And these women wanted to create a program that where they go into schools and they help prevent this problem from arising so people learn their own inner value, their own inner beauty, uh, outside of having to look like they're on a cover of a Cosmopolitan magazine. And they learn healthy relationships to food right. uh, and to their own spirit. And when we, there's, there's just remarkable people out there doing, who are learning how to take their gifts and their, even their challenges and making a contribution elsewhere. All right, that sounds fantastic. Let's talk about Hashem Abushma. Yeah, he founded, a, uh, he, he and many volunteers co-founded a group call, called uh, Throw Trash, Not Stones. He lives in the Palestinian territories. And he noticed that these, you know, this area, he, in his own words, is very dirty and not well taken care of. And he wanted to help clean it up. So we helped fund him by providing trash bins and, and art supplies. And him and his volunteers are going to help clean up the area, leave trash cans available for people to throw away their trash and paint murals on the walls as well as help educate some of, the, uh, some of the youth around there and how they can take better care of their community. Okay, and then we have Oscar Medina. What was he doing? Yeah, he came to us uh, through our uh, partnership with Green For All. Oscar uh, lives on the uh, south side of Tucson, uh, where there's a lot of young people, young men, who don't have uh, many job skills, and there's not many opportunities to get training uh, for jobs. And he saw this great opportunity in the, in the future of the green economy uh, to provide some of those skills by teaching people how to create organic foods, how to ag learn about agriculture, irrigation, grow their own food so they can eat healthy uh, in their community, and also potentially work in farms. Mm -hmm. So if people want to learn whether or not they can be eligible for this $1,000 a day, what do they need to do? They just go to our website, uh, which is thepollinationproject.org. Uh, it lays down all of our uh, criteria for who we fund. And we are really focused on funding individuals, uh, mm -hmm. not so much organizations. But you know, we believe that each individual has a unique uh, gift or privilege or uh, a skill set, a talent, where they can make a difference in the world. And we want to help fund those people uh, to put that, that meaning, create more meaning and contribution in their life and make a contribution to their uh, community around them. What an amazing idea. Uh, the only rule you have is they can't turn a profit. They just have to make a difference in the world. Ari Nessel, the entrepreneur and founder of the Pollination Project. Hats off to you today. Thanks for being our guest. Thanks, Gretchen. Let's go over to Steve.